back to Tailgaters. My name is Cameron Coffo, along with my uh, kind of co-host for a little bit, David Campbell, as plays could not be here this week. Mm -hmm. But uh, we've got week two of the NFL season coming up, and I think that's what's on everyone, everyone's minds. It was, a, it was a heck of a week. One last week, we had some upsets, some very rainy, splishy, splashy games, if you that's will. True. And that's a word now. Mm -hmm. So I say we hop right into it. Uh, David, I'm going to ask you first. Yeah, you asked me anything, Campbell. I'll answer it. Dave, what's your social security? Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's a little touchy. Um, biggest surprise. So what team is going to have the biggest surprise for this upcoming NFL weekend? It can be Thursday night football, Sunday night, Sunday afternoon, Sunday at noon, or Monday night. What team is going to surprise America the most? There's a lot of games that I think that are, could be surprising. One of them actually is happening. My good friend is going there. Here's a bat neck in Cowboys Bengals. Cowboys obviously lost their quarterback. I think Bengals got to be heavy favorites in that one. But as someone who has watched Cooper Rush, Beat his favorite team in the Minnesota Vikings last year. I wouldn't sell anything short. Cooper Rush and the Cowboys could win that game because no one's expecting them to. It was Cowboys minus two and a half until that got hurt. Now it's Bengals minus seven. And I think that's a big swing with about five minutes there. Could be a big factor in that one. But I got to admit, Cam, a lot of the games in week two just aren't that great. You know, a lot of them are just kind of mid teams very up against each other. I want to put another one out there on your radar, which you're not going to like. What surprised me if the Tennessee Titans like, upset the Buffalo like, Bills that's not in happening. Week One? That's I think not, it could. No one's going to. No one's expecting yeah. the Bills look great in Week One, and I think the Titans, in theory, in my theory, could beat the Bills. Derrick Henry, massive game. He's he's due right. for one. He hasn't had one You're right. since pre-injury. I mean, because he's been only back for two, three games, hasn't looked very good. But he's gonna, he got a huge game. Yeah. Will I pick Buffalo? Yeah. Probably. Was well, your farm animal also going to pick up? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. It's... I'm for sure not sold on your team on that one. All right. Yeah. What so, you? What's your big surprise? My biggest surprise. You think I'm an idiot? I, well, I, listen, I didn't say you're an idiot. It didn't come out of my ear words online. The commanders not just beating, but dismantling the Lions. I yeah. think Carson Wentz builds off of his week one performance. I need a quarterback in fantasy. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I grabbed Carson Wentz as soon as he was available. So I had that guy, I grabbed Carson Wentz as well. Carson Wentz, I'll tell you, he's going to look like that old Carson Wentz that almost took the Eagles to the Super Bowl until Nick Foles stepped in, and all Nick Foles is off in Cabo, probably in vacationing. But I think the commanders don't just beat, I think they dismantled the Lions. The Lions played extremely well last week. Don't get me wrong. They they, they scored over 30 points, yeah, which I wasn't expecting. DeAndre Swift, though, apparently he's been a little banged we'll up. We'll We're not up. I don't think anyone's totally sure if it's been confirmed or not, if he's playing. But that's all. I, I just think the, I think Washington and Carson Wentz just continues their run. Riverboat Ron, he's going to steer yeah. his way to a second victory. Row his way to a second victory. It's not a bad pick. Uh, one, one more on your radar. Yeah. Maybe Dolphins. Take on the Baltimore Ravens this um, week. I would have picked the Dolphins, which is a big surprise to a lot of people. Baltimore on paper looks great. Dolphins win this when they go into Baltimore. They win. Tua Tagovailoa in that much convenient offense looks good. Tua Tagovailoa had an interesting quote today. I don't know if you saw it. I did see it. He it was, was very like, pathetic. He quote. said something about I can't see out there. Like I can't see the receivers. That's not something that puts a lot of faith into me. No. But I do like their team overall. Waddle Hill, two of the best ones in football. I'm taking the Dolphins. Heck of a defense as well. All right, we talked about every surprise. What's your yeah. biggest disappointment? What team is going to disappoint the most? This upcoming week. So and here's mine. Seattle, big come off a big win against Denver. It was their Super Bowl. That was their Super Bowl. That was their biggest game of the season. They only care winning that game. I think San Fran coming off a week, they played the monsoon and the splishy yeah. splashy, you know what I mean? That's a game I, now. It's gonna I think they go into I'm sorry, they home. I think they go back home. I think they'd absolutely destroy Seattle and Seattle puts up less than ten points. Now that one's actually supposed to rain as well. It's supposed to rain in San Francisco. I, I saw that. Oh wow. Yeah. But um I still think San Fran wins. Another game I want to mention. I kind of kept some homage to the Minnesota Vikings here. I can, they, play, they play Philadelphia. Philadelphia, on paper, great roster. Very a lot good. of people are predicting to win the NFC, win the NFC, NFC Championship. That one's shocking. Minnesota is going, going to go in there and beat the Philadelphia Eagles. Kirk Cousins is the best quarterback in Philadelphia of all time. Away quarterback going to Philly. No. He has the top QBR. He's the best quarterback to ever go in there. He did the exact same thing. Justin Jefferson is going to win Offensive Player of the Year, and Kirk Cousins will be an MVP candidate this year. Okay, um, I see the bias has not faded from last year, but hey, you know, I can't disagree. Kirk Cousins looked good week one. Josh Jefferson looked good week one. AJ Brown and Jalen Hurts looked good week one. Miles Sanders scored a touchdown also for my fantasy team. Should be a high shootout game. I think the Vikings beat them. I would, again, that I will give yeah. it would not shock me. Mm -hmm. My biggest disappointment, I think the Packers start 0-2. I would love that. I think they lose against the Bears. I Listen, last, last year, 
the or the Packers also they they had a tough loss in New yeah, Orleans, they and but they rebounded. Aaron Rodgers rebounded. Now, David, but remind me who was the number one wide receiver on that Packers team in twenty twenty? The best receiver in the NFL, Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams, Adams there. Yeah. He's not in, he's not in Green no. Bay anymore, and that's I think just Aaron Rodgers is a heck of a quarterback. Don't get me wrong. But you still need weapons. Yes, Cam, I've weapons. seen I've seen the Packers receivers, and I've seen you on Stankowski Field on the flag football game. I'm taking you over Christian Watson, over <laughs> Romeo Dubs. I'm taking him over any of them. Yes, sir. Christian Watson sure drops a lot out there, looking like that uh, was like, a bad one. Bad. I mean, he almost just bad. <laughs> He's terrible player. No, uh, but wow. I mean, that was a little hard. That was a tough week one for him. So yeah. I think the Packers start owning two against the Bears and. I think the Aaron Rodgers controversy just continues to build and build, and he's got no point. He's got no point in nope. really trying after that. Anyway, yeah. um, so your player, what player is going to be the biggest surprise? This mm-hmm. like a break, breakout, breakout player. A breakout they, player, or they could surprise again after surprising last week. They could surprise again. There was a lot of different players who stepped up. Geno Smith was one of them. I'm going to give a shout out to the Dolphins right back. I think Raheem Mostert could score a couple touchdowns. This okay. Week. It's been a bit of a dark throw, bit of a bit of a shock there, but I'm riding the Dolphins wave. Another guy I want to mention the Broncos wide receiver three, KJ Hamler. Russell yeah. Wilson did not throw to yes. receivers that much in the week one loss against Seattle. He's gonna have to this time. KJ, third receiver of Ben State, coming off an ACL injury, he is gonna have a big game. That's a very good wide receiver three to have. Yeah. Well, I wasn't complimenting your pick but oh. whatsoever. But I think KJ Hamler, I think that's a good receiver. Yep. Three to have. My player that's gonna surprise me, keep this short and sweet. We just talked about that game. Justin Fields. Is going to go off against I love it. the Packers defense. I'd already allowed 23 to the Vikings yesterday. They have a very good Justin Jefferson. Yep. Yes, but I think they're just going to fall into the ground more. Yep. And since Fields is not going to be playing in the splishy, splashy game, as we yep. put it last time, um, I think Justin Fields as well. Yep. Um, David, we'll do the opposite. What players are going to disappoint? Players at this point, I mean, there's a handful you can choose from here, obviously. I'm going to go, the one I don't want to go with, but Kyler Murray, he is not yeah. that. Special guys. Mm-hmm. We gotta start realizing this guy's a little overrated. I don't think he's gonna have a big game. I think the Raiders destroy the Cardinals in Vegas this yep. week. I yes. Hail Murray means something at yep. this point. Uh Mac Jones. I yep. think Mac Jones is gonna disappoint against a very out of Mac Jones hater. It, yes, mostly because he's in the Bills division. I'm a Bills fan, but also he's going up against a tough Packers team. Not much he can do. Nope. Or not Packers, uh Steelers team. Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. Pittsburgh. Uh, stuff, uh, stuff. Boy, tough Steelers defense. These words are almost as tough as Steelers defense. But yes, are they going to be missing T.J. Watt? Yes, but they still got Megan Fitzpatrick. They got. They still have a fantastic defense that gave Joe Burrow made him see ghosts. Yep. And uh, Mac Jones is going to struggle. All right, David, we're going to cap it off. Yep. What is your? If you had to put your mortgage yep. on a game on a team to win this week. Yep. What's going to be? Cam, I got four words. My final four words of the show. The Broncos country, let's ride. Okay, um, interesting one. I don't, I don't mind it though. I don't mind it whatsoever. I think the Giants and Saquon Barkley, more specifically Saquon Barkley, and less specifically Daniel Jones. I think they take down the Panthers. I think the Panthers might start 0-2. I think Baker might have a tough game. I know the Giants are nothing too special. Saquon had a really good game uh, last week, and I think he's going to build on that. But Hey, only time will tell, and we will be right back here next week. David, I don't think you're going to be with us again next week as you're just a fill-in, but, you know, he might, you never know. You really never know. Plays could be gone again, or he could be here. It's only time will tell. Thanks for tuning in. Well, guys, we'll see you next week, and uh, we're out.